Hey YouTube, what's up? Gonna do a quick run over of a modification I did to my SC382 Vermeer stump grinder. And I was having issues with the wheel not wanting to stay engaged. It was kicking the clutch out all the time. I don't know if that was an operator presence issue or exactly what it was because they had a switch that ran through a relay. And if you got too much resistance on the cutter head, it would kick it out. If you let go of one of the controls, it would kick it out. There was just too many things to go wrong. And this is the second time I've had issues with it. The first time it was covered under warranty and really they didn't know what was going on with it. They just kind of threw some parts at it and uh, never really did tell me what the problem was. So now I'm out of warranty. I've had the machine for a couple of years and I'm tired of it. It's a good machine. It's a simple fix but it's just over engineered from the factory too many things to go wrong too many paths to failure so what i did was i came in right here and out of this wiring harness right here there's a, a plug back in here that you probably can't see but maybe you can right here that goes to your clutch and it used to come out of this wiring harness with a couple of wires i snipped those off i patched into the plug brought my wires back here simply went to the ground right up in here and then i have another wire that follows back comes into here <clears throat> that wire comes up through here i put a new switch in up in there maybe you guys can see it back here I'm not sure maybe we'll go this way but there's a, a new switch in there and then I put an inline fuse right here and then I've got a wire that goes back and connects to the battery so now if I want to engage all I got to do is flip this up and engage and I'm good to go if I need to kill it for whatever reason, I get into something, I need to stop it. I flick that, it's done. It's got a lockout, I can't bump that because essentially what it was was a safety feature. They didn't want somebody coming up here and getting into the grinder wheel. So they made it to where you can't leave the operator station. Well, unless you're just goofy, and probably don't need to be operating one of these machines anyway, you're not gonna get up there and get in the wheel. So I feel just fine with this. And when I turn it on, it's on until I turn it off, which is also nice because when you're back here operating this from here, you can't see what you're working on. So now you can step out to the side and look up there at your cutter head Still in a safe area, you're not anywhere near it, and you can see what's going on over there that you normally couldn't see. So that's my fix for Vermeer's problem on their SC382 with the cutter head not wanting to stay engaged. If anybody else has been having problems with that, drop a comment. Thanks, guys.